Welcome everyone, this is Coaching in Session. My name is Michael Raritan and I will be your mindset coach today. And today we're gonna be talking about the issues with mindset. Now you might think that, oh, Michael, the way you speak is that mindset is always perfect. Well, to be honest, mindset is going to be exactly what you're thinking, how you're thinking. Is the way you think perfect? Most likely not. There can be some adjustments that we can make. There are going to be some issues we may have to iron out, wrinkles, whatever you want to call them. And then we have to make the adjustments, apply them, be consistent toward them. I mean, when it comes to mindset, there can be many problems when we're trying to focus on getting a new and better mindset. Now, everyone has a mindset. There's not a person in the world who doesn't have a mindset. But the mindset that they have might not be one that you can get behind. If you think about people who have done egregious things in the world, Think of your Hitler, think of people who mutilate people, attack people. A couple months ago, we had an issue with Iran and the Hamas attacking people and hurting people and degrading people, stealing people, capturing them. This was a reality for them, the people in Israel. We have to look at, well, why are these people doing that? Shouldn't people be singing Kumbaya all the time and being happy, loving each other? I think that it would be a a better world, right? If you think about what Bob Marley was teaching, we are all here one life to make a change and life should be beautiful. But we have to look at, well, life is not always going to be that because sometimes mindset can be the issue. So how people think can be the problem, but how they think is not the problem, if that makes any sense, because they're allowed to think whatever they want. They're allowed to have the mindset that they want. It is their life to live, but it doesn't mean we have to get behind it. So there are so many issues when it comes to mindset, and we're going to be talking about that in my most recent blog, The Issues with Mindset. All right, everyone, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and to share the video and our audio to help build a community of like-minded individuals who understand that mindset is going to be a process. If you know someone in your life who has a mindset that maybe is different than yours, that you might not appreciate, send them this episode because I think it's going to resonate with you and it's going to resonate with them so you can understand, well, maybe their mindset is not the issue. Maybe my mindset is the issue. And that is one of the issues with mindset. When we get a belief, an opinion, maybe a life experience. That becomes what our mindset is. For example, think of the flu shot. Every year people get the flu shot. People say it's essential that you get the flu shot because if you don't get the flu shot, you're going to get the flu and the flu does not feel good. It is terrible. You can die. It's, I mean, there are bad things that can happen if you get sick. But There's also the aspect of, well, I'm healthy. My mindset is strong. I go to the gym. I eat well. I'm healthy. My mindset is strong. I don't need something that's going to maybe give me a boost, maybe detract from me. That person has a different mentality, a different mindset than the person who says you need a flu shot. So it's like the people who believe you need a flu shot or the people who don't believe you need a flu shot, who's the enemy? Who's right? Who's wrong? We are so quick to say, oh, well, this person is wrong because they don't believe what I believe. But here's what I'm going to say. If you believe it, then that is what you need to do. This is something that is mindset because I work with people all over the world. I work with people who have different romantic affiliations, if you want to call them that. They have different political views. They have different techniques for raising family that are different than mine. But here I am coaching them, helping them navigate their mindset, not mine. My mindset is irrelevant. One of the first things we do on our first sessions is we're trying to figure out what type of mindset do you want? Where do you want to be? I'm not going to say, well, I think you should be in a different place after you just finished telling me you want to be an artist. I don't think you should be an artist. You know, I think you should be, you know, someone who is an engineer. You're going to make so much more money. That's not my job. My job is to guide you, to help facilitate your growth. 
What do you want to accomplish? Your goal is my goal, but yet my goal does not have to be your goal because you're not my coach. The reason why I coach people and the reason I can coach people so effectively is because I understand that not everyone's going to have the same mindset as me. People are going to have different mindsets, but I still can speak with them. I still can have conversations that they're going to resonate with because I know how to put myself on their side of the table. For the people who have a hard time doing that, they should not be coaches because it's going to be very opinionated. That is why sometimes I have coaches come on coaching a session and they have this view and their episode will never see the light of day. Because I like to promote coaches who are going to help have a positive impact in the world, not to have their impact in the world. There is a fine line between trying to help somebody and trying to change somebody. This is one of the issues with mindset. People are trying to change people. Oh, you don't believe in this? That's not good. You need to believe in this. You need to come to my church and you need to start to change. Or you need to wear this and you need to eat this food because this is going to be exactly what you need. I know I speak about many things on the podcast, but these are tools, maybe tricks of the trade if you want to call them that, and you get to decide if you want to use them. My job in coaching and session is to give you as many tools for your toolbox and you get to decide if you want to build something or if you want those tools to remain there and rust. You get to decide when it comes to your mindset. And so in this blog, I talk about many of the issues and I also give a great example story of what mindset is capable of. And it's important that you do read this, understand it, and then begin to apply this in your life. Because you might be thinking, oh, you know, I think of this in a way that if someone doesn't believe this, I can't get behind them. For example, Tom Hanks, I think is his name. Tom Hanks, he did cast away and he was in some other movies. Great actor. You know what he said a couple months ago? He says, I do not respect anybody who doesn't wear a mask. Okay. That's a mindset. Now, is this mindset helpful? Of course not. To him, it is a stance, right? It's his stance. He's drawing the line in the sand. I'm just not going to respect these people. There's nothing wrong with that. I just wouldn't hire him to be my mindset coach because if you're going to be that inflexible, imagine in other areas saying that you need to do this and it needs to be done this way. I understand that you're a great person. You have great success. The way you did it might be the way that's going to make me successful. But to be honest, there are so many paths to success. There's not just one. There's maybe an infinite amount of possibilities of how you can be successful in your own regard and in your own right. But for many people, they're going to have a hard time getting there because there's an issue with their mindset. So if you haven't figured out the issue with mindset is opinion. Oh, you know, I have this belief. I'm in control of my thoughts, my feelings, and my actions, right? My thoughts, my feelings, and my actions are mine to control. And if someone has a different feeling thought than me, they do different actions than me, I have the authority to say that this person shouldn't be in my life. I shouldn't be behind this person. I shouldn't talk about this. It's something that is not my concern. However, when it comes to mindset, we have maybe an obligation to understand that mindset does not have to be so inflexible. We get to make it malleable. Just like our brain, neuroplasticity, we can change our thinking, our mindset, the way we have developed. All of that is done because we want to make some changes. The issue is many people, they don't want to change. They want people to change for them. The pandemic was a great example to how the issues with mindset is so prevalent still. Oh, you know, people don't want to wear masks. Oh, people don't want to get a vaccine. Oh, people don't want a social distance. Oh, people don't want a lockdown. They are fools for not wanting to do this. I mean, this is common sense, right? Said one side of the people. But the other people said, why would I want to be locked down like dogs? 
Why would I want to be restricted and not be able to go out and enjoy my life? Why do I have to get an experimental drug? Why do I have to put a cloth over my face so I can't breathe? Now we're getting into the differences between the two. And it's amazing how the mindset can shift so far to the left, so far to the right. And I mean, I've had guests come on, we ask these questions. And it's because the pendulum has swung so far left, so far right, we have failed to understand that there can be a middle ground. And the middle ground is, hey, you're going to believe what you want. I'm going to do what I want. And at the end of the day, if I can be kind to you still, we still win. You get to live the way you want. I get to live the way I want. And that's fine. I might not associate with you on my days off, but that's, again, who you surround yourself, your environment. Because you might be around someone who is in substance abuse, alcohol, drugs. You probably don't want to be around that. And so your mindset is, I'm staying away from that. Their mindset is, this makes me feel good. So we know it's destructive. We can give people the tools, the resources, the knowledge to make a choice. Hey, I want you to go to this AA meeting. I'll go with you. This is something that you can try. If you don't like it, you don't have to go again. I just want you to put yourself in a different mindset. Now, you might be saying, well, the issue with mindset is you're trying to change people. Change and help is different. If you see someone who is hurting themselves and they can't see it, their mindset is clouded. And you might think that, well, what is a clouded mindset? What is that fine line? And this is the crazy part. There is none. Because I might say something that's going to maybe overstep the bounds of someone who has a different belief. For example, if someone says, Michael, you need to cut your hair shorter. I was like, okay, maybe I'm going to listen to them. Maybe that's a great mindset. But then at the end of the day, I get to decide my length of the hair. Now, that's just a simple example because my wife might love my hair the length that I have it. And so who do I please, a stranger or my wife? And then we get into the aspect of now we get into medical stuff. Oh, you should do this or you should do that. You should eat this food. You should drink this amount of water. And it's like, yes, it worked for you, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for me. One of the reasons why we do individual coaching plans for everybody is because everyone is so unique. I can't just make one coaching program and say, hey, this is a coaching program. As long as you follow this, you're going to be good. One of my biggest gripes with mindset is emotional intelligence and how adults think oh, if everyone was emotionally intelligent, then the world would be a better place. That is so far from the truth. That is my mindset. But for their mindset, they might say, this is going to be the answer. But I can show you time and time again that if you give everyone a positive outlook, you're going to have a negative result because that is not how the world operates. You need that bad too. So it's not about just being always happy and treating everyone with kindness. Sometimes you have to have that tough love. And I have tough love with my clients. They will tell you, oh, Michael yelled at me today. Oh, Michael was very strict with me this week. He said that I had to do this and this and this. And it's like, I was overwhelmed when he said that. Good. There is a fine line for when someone's trying to push you to be better and someone's trying to push you because they want to change you. Again, you tell me what you want. You tell me how fast you want it. And then you show me if you truly want it. Because sometimes clients will come to me, they'll say, Michael, I really want this. I'll do anything to get it. And I say, okay, not a problem. We begin the coaching. I make some adjustments along the way, of course, because I find that they're not getting the weekly task done or maybe the daily task done. And I say, maybe we need to go slower. We need to break this down even into smaller micro steps. And we do. But then I see that even those possible steps, they're not taking them. And so we don't look at mindset anymore. We look at habits because you can be in the habit of giving yourself a mindset that is not helpful because when you look at habits, it's composed of three different things, motivation, your ability, and then the prompt. This is something that I have learned in tiny habits. This is something that you can learn here on Coaching in Session. You can get the book, Tiny Habits, but what I will tell you, so you don't have to read the whole book, is when you're looking at something, 
There's a reason why we have motivation and motion. You might get a temporary boost to do something. New Year's resolutions, going to the gym, maybe cooking, whatever, and then it simply fades away. What happened? Was your mindset not strong enough? Were you not clear in your purpose? Like, are you not in control of your thoughts, your feelings, your actions? And it caused you to sway away from what you were going for, what you told yourself to do. There's a lot when it comes to what is your mindset, how to refine your mindset, how do we give you the mindset that you need. There is so much to mindset coaching. It's not, hey, let's talk about your feelings and your emotions. We are not therapy. If you want results, you come see me. If you want your regular life and you want to, you know, keep doing what you're doing, don't do anything. Maybe go see another coach. I don't know. But what I know is here we are focused on results. The way we get those results is that we look at where you are, we try to figure out where you want to be, we give you that direction, and we see if you want to remain consistent along the way. Maybe you're not ready. Maybe the pain is not strong enough. And so you're not motivated to do it. That's why I say most people who come see me, they had a dark trauma, they had a deep wound, and that is their motivation to take action. They come to me because they need the ability. How can I get there? I need someone who's skilled and to get to a better and stronger mindset. And so I don't have all the issues that many people have with mindset. And even if you feel this way or a certain way, you are 100% in the right to have the mindset that you want. If you say that the war with Russia and Ukraine is a good thing, that's your mindset. If you say it's a bad thing, that's your mindset. Now, you don't have to associate with people who have different views than you. But at the same time, the only thing you need to be making sure when you're looking at your environment is going to be if they have a growth mindset, a positive mindset. Because you might find that someone who has a mindset that is different than yours can be helpful for you to develop a mindset that's going to be more in line with your true mindset. Because the mindset that you have right now, I can almost guarantee it is temporary. Our mindset is always changing. It is always evolving. We are lifetime learners. My mindset is not the same when I was a teenager. It is not the same when I was in my 20s. It was not the same when I was single. It is the mindset that it needs to be today. And in five years, my mindset is going to be different than today. I understand that. But I learn and I grow. There is an aspect to as we grow, we mature. They say some people never mature. But mindset is something that's going to constantly be changing. It is never truly matured. It is never truly ready. It's like if you want to keep whiskey in a barrel for 10 years, do you want to keep it in for 100 years? Of course, the 100 years are more expensive. It's more refined. It has a deeper flavor on your palate. But yet, you might prefer the 10-year whiskey over the 100-year whiskey. What's the difference? The difference is how long did it take to get there? And so the issue with mindset, another one, is we give ourselves an idea. The idea is our idea. It could be a negative idea. The story I talk about in this blog was the lady who was thinking that she had breast cancer. And sure enough, she kept saying it, saying it, saying it, saying it over and over and over again until she got breast cancer. Yes, it could be a coincidence. Yes, it could be in the family, in the DNA, but it can also be because the mindset willed it. The mindset can heal you, it can set you free, and it can also make you sick. There's a part in the blog, let me see if I can find it very quickly. It's trying to say that, you know, our mindset is is so strong where we can have an impact with just our vibration. I talk about another story. I talked about it on the podcast about our vibration and our voice. When we speak to plants, I'm not saying that you need to speak to inanimate objects. People might think you're crazy. I'm just going to think that you're enhancing your mindset skills and your awareness and you're trying to become one with the world. That's fine. There was a study done. You probably know it. I talked about it on the podcast before. Kids in a classroom would say nice words to one plant, 
mean words to another plant, the one that had the negative words started to wilt. They gave the plant the same soil, fed the plants whatever they needed, gave it water, but yet the vibration of our words, our thoughts, our demeanor, our actions was enough to kill the plant. And it's enough to kill your dreams. And it's enough to make you sick in a way that your body is going to feel the negative energy. How often do you have negative thoughts? How often do you watch the news that is based on fear, that is based on you being cling to them for some more information versus going out, enjoying your life, doing what you need to do, not worried about what's happening across the world. Be 100% today. And if you want to help people around the world, now you're effective and efficient in that regard because you did the work today. One of the issues with mindset, I mean, there's so many, is we are so worried about giving, 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 giving. And we think that making sure we're 100% is selfish. It's not selfish. That is probably the best thing you can do for the world. If you're 100%, just imagine how many more people you can help. Let's say if you're 100%, you can help four people a day. But yeah, if you're 50%, you can only help two people. So if you fail to take care of yourself, you can only help two people a day. Imagine how many days in a year and then how many years you have in a life you're going to be 50% less effective in how many people you can impact in a positive way. Now, if you keep helping people at 50%, you might find that some days you're 25%. Now you're only helping one person. That is an issue with mindset. You think you're doing something. You think you're making progress just because you're running in place, but you're not. You're not making significant progress. Yes, you are making some progress. Yes, some days you are going to be 25%. Maybe some days you'll be zero. But if we can be 100% more days than we're not, instead of just saying, well, as long as I'm 50%, as long as I can help one person a day. Yes, it's fine to give yourself that goal, that ambition, but we need to give some extra credit to ourselves some days, right? In order for me to do something, I'm going to say I'm going to do this and I'm going to give myself extra credit points if I do more. Think of push-ups, sit-ups, walking around the block. Think of, you know, love letters, text messages, helping out friends, whatever you want to do, consider. Think about it. You might say I want to help one person today, but what if you said I'm going to help two people today? Okay, did that detract from you? Maybe it did. Maybe now you know I can help only one person in a day. And maybe you have to build up stamina, build up resolve, build mindset to help more people if you want to. But there are many issues with mindset. I talk about them all on the blog. So the issue with mindset, there's going to be many different things that I talk about in the blog. I love mindset, but then I understand that there is going to be issues with mindset. For me, I have learned to work with anybody and anybody willing to change their mindset into something that they are trying to get. Now, I can turn clients away, but I don't do it with a negative heart. I don't do it with animosity toward the person. I just tell them politely that I don't think I'm the person for you. That is why here on Coaching A Session, we bring on so many wonderful coaches that have different opinions, different beliefs, maybe people that you can resonate with. I do find to resonate with more people than I don't, but then at the same time, you do have to find the right coach. You don't just have to listen to what we say here in Coaching and Session here at Revenant Concepts, but you get to make the choice for yourself. What type of thoughts and feelings and actions do you want to be present in your life and in the world? How do you start to change your thinking And then in the end, when it comes to the mindset, how can you end up to be in the best place possible? And in this blog, I give you the A to Z, whatever you want to consider it, the start to finish, the problems, the issues with mindset. And then we talk about how you can fix them. And we also give so many examples that are going to be relatable in your day-to-day life. This is a must-read blog. So in closing, you might think that if you have an opinion oh, I can't share it with somebody now because Michael says that my mindset can't be someone else's mindset or I can't express my mindset. You can express your mindset as much as you want, but understand that other people don't have to bend to the will of your mindset. 
I have a very strong positive mindset, but then at the same time, people can have a very negative mindset. I'm not going to say you need to be more positive. You need to stop being pessimistic. Yes, I can show you the data that if you're more optimistic, you're going to be more positive and you're going to be more prone to do more actions in your day that are going to lead to better results in your life. I can show you the data, but maybe you're not there. Maybe you are just barely hanging on. Maybe the world hates you. They see you as a glass half empty. I am going to see you as always. How full are you? Not full of BS. How full are you of capabilities, of potential, of eagerness to change your circumstance? And then we take all of it, we pull it all together, and then we start to go for what you're trying to go for. We give ourselves at least some direction. When you want something in life, you might have an inkling, an understanding. You might not know the destination for what it might feel like, for what it might entail. You give yourself at least the ambition to do it, to strive for it, to dream for it, to hope for it, to take action toward it. It's not going to be an easy aspect if you always give yourself the issues that come along with common mindset. Oh, I'm going to worry about people who don't believe in what I believe in. My opinion is always going to make me angry because if someone doesn't believe what I believe or do what I say, it's going to give me a negative bias toward this person or a group of people. The reason One of the main reasons why our country is so divided, not just because of politics, but because of mindset. If more people just realize that, hey, this person just has a different mindset, okay, cool. Now, does this person have different actions that are harmful to me? Then that is when we might have to take some action. But until then, the way someone thinks is irrelevant to how we think. You might really enjoy listening to the podcast. For that, I say thank you. But then at the same time, there are going to be people who don't like my podcast, people who don't like my message. And that's fine. I understand. I can't please everybody. And if you can learn that, you're going to just be in such a better place because you're not going to be worried about your insecurities. Why don't people like you? Or why things are not going your way? You get to say, you know what? Where I am today is where I am. I'm going to make the changes that I need because I want to. I'm going to believe the thoughts that I want to. And I'm not going to push them onto others because that's not my role. That's not my responsibility. Now, if someone is doing bad, I can offer guidance. I can offer some advice. But even if they choose not to take it, if they choose to go a different road, a different path, a different mindset, They are not my enemy. They are not someone that I'm going to say, well, I don't want to be around you anymore. I think you're very misogynistic, rude, narcissist. We give these people these words to validate our mindset. And this is an issue. It creates divide. It creates separation. It creates voids in our potential because we're not seeing everything in a person. And as long as you are going to remain one-sided in mindset, it's going to be difficult for you to have true fulfillment in life. You can have a great amount of success having one mindset and being strict in your mindset, but fulfillment is going to come when everyone can be accepted. This is something I learned early on, and it's something that many people won't understand. I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it work. I've seen the magic. I've seen the wonders. We are so filled with hate and animosity. The moment something doesn't go our way or it's not in line with what we think about or feel, I mean, it is easy to get off track in mindset. It is easy to let negativity, pessimism run free and rampant in our mind, but we have to learn how to be bigger. One of the first steps that you can take in order to change your mindset Reach out to us here at Reverend Concepts, get yourself a consultation, free coaching session with me, and then start to ask the deep questions. Well, what is my mindset? And then you get to ask, do you want to change it? Maybe you love your mindset for what it is, for what it truly is. Because typically when it comes to mindset, I always find something hidden in a person 
they're trying to find the words maybe they're trying to validate feelings emotions actions some people they come to me and they go michael just tell me what to do i said that <laughs> we're not doing that we are going to figure out what you need to do how you want to feel that's fine how you want to act that's fine how you want to think that's fine but then at the same time just because you feel act and think in this way it doesn't mean the world has to feel think and act that way our mindset our body our words heck our vibration can send out immense waves that are going to impact a lot of people we can make it good we can make it bad that's going to be relative to the person relative to what people think the only thing i want you to focus on here is to be true to yourself if you can do that you already won the battle the mindset that you need to have to be true to yourself is going to be free from the issues that run rampant in our society i write many down in the blog make sure to read this one it's going to give you an understanding of your mindset it's going to give you maybe an eye opening experience oh wait i used to do that and it's going to give you a little bit of guidance if you want to change it Again, we are here to facilitate that change, RevanConcepts.com. If you have any questions, reach out to me, coachingandsession at gmail.com, and I will be here to support you along the way. With that being said, I'll see everyone on the next episode of Coaching in Session. Until then, everyone take care.